Good morning. Right, what's the time? Yes, it is seven o'clock. Okay. Good morning to each and every one of you. Not that I have anybody there yet, so I'm going to wait a moment just to see if I do have anyone pop up because it only has just turned seven o'clock. <laughs> Sorry, I'm feeling in a slightly silly mood this morning. So I'm assuming that I am. Yes, no, it says I'm live. Okay. So what I wanted to share this morning. So please click re hashtag replay if you watch this on replay, which I know most of you will do because you're probably not ready for your morning yet. Excuse me, I'm going to fill with my camera for a moment. Okay. All right. So I want to share my... The, the three pillars of transformation that I'm going to be sharing with you guys over the next forever. <laughs> so as I said last week, I want to make us think, I really do want to make you stop and check yourselves because we're really, really good at just going through life at full speed, getting up, doing the same thing every day, but sometimes expecting a different result, which is not always possible. It's actually not possible. If you want to make a change, actually, no, something has to change somewhere. So good morning to each and every one of you. Um, the comments are meant to be coming up at the bottom, but they're not. Can you say hello? I don't know. I don't know who's there unless you go, good morning, Leslie. <laughs> Even if you don't know me, introduce yourself. Say hello and make sure you take a picture of yourself and add it into the group so we can all love all over you. <laughs> okay, so as I said, hashtag replay if you watch this um, on replay. So a lot of us, when we start to feel unwell in any way, shape or form, whether it's stress, anxiety, or you've got this going on, or you feel that pain or whatever it is, we tend to head to the doctor, but as we all know, that's not our only alternative. It's not our only alternative, but a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be covering through my group is a lot of new science. Yeah, remember, everything that I give you is always backed up by that scientific evidence, absolutely everything. Good morning. Good morning, Christy. How are you? <laughs> so... It's not the only approach. Go to the doctor and and what tends to happen, and, and, and this, is the, this is the reason I wanted to get what I do out there. What would be lovely is if we went to the doctor, they looked at us as a whole person. So here's the problem. Our body sees itself as a whole. Yeah? The brain and the body connect and they talk to each other both ways. But we tend to get looked at as one body part. Yeah, so you'll get looked at for the body part that you go in for. Good morning, sister. So yeah, we, we, get, we get looked at for the body part we go in for, but what if we're looking in the wrong spot? Yep, yeah. what if we're looking in the wrong spot? What if <laughs> most of the problems we have, where you end up feeling the problem is not where the problem started. So when we go and get something addressed, so often, and, and I've proved this many times with my, with my wonderful ladies, um, is looking in the wrong place, trying to fix a body part, but if it didn't start in that spot, then we're not going to fix it. It's where that problem ended up manifesting. Yep. So as I have explained to you before, when we when we when we suppress guilt, shame, fear, when we suppress those things, no matter how far from the past, good morning, Ellen, no matter how far from the past, you are then going that is then going to manifest as something. It could be stress, depression. Uh, anxiety, it could be pain. Your body is powerful enough to stop you from moving a body part if it chooses to, if it feels that you are in danger. So this is what our brain does. It looks at the level of safety and the level of danger, and then it decides whether it's going to present a problem for you or not, because it's trying to keep you safe. And that's what we've got to, got to remember. And 
pain is not punishment from your body. Pain is not punishment from your body. Pain is actually a request for change. Your body is actually requesting change. And pain is telling you you have an unmet need somewhere within your body. So it's saying, I have an unmet need. Please, can you fix it? <laughs> That's where the problem can sometimes come in. Where is my problem? Where is my problem? Because remember what I said at the beginning, your body sees itself as a whole. It doesn't see you as a kidney and a liver and lungs and a heart and an arm and a leg. It sees me as a whole. It cannot differentiate between one part and another. But we get looked at that way. That's why some things don't work, okay? So this group might not be suitable for everyone. We're all on different journeys and that's absolutely fine. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And if you do feel you need some help and I can't help you, there's probably, I'm probably going to know somebody that, that actually can help you. So what if, what if the information that we're get, being given is, is slightly off track? Well, the what if for that is we won't end up solving that deep problem that, that, that we have within us, no, no matter what it is. So... Pain, whether it's uh, emotional or physical, as I mentioned, and I want to say this again, it will generally not end where it started and it could have started some 20 years ago. And, and that's the thing, we, I don't think we tend to realise that. I'm just checking my notes to make sure that I, I do actually keep on track with everything that I wanted to say this morning. So the three pillars that I'm going to be covering off through this group, because we've only, this is only kind of the second week we've had the group, is a thriving body blueprint. So that's where we're going to sub discover all those science-backed information that I've looked into and tried and done myself and proven that these things do work, okay? And that's how we can live life on our own terms, not on somebody else's terms or the terms of situations that we're in that could quite be easily fixed. Okay, so the other thing is the, the healthy ageing framework. And that's where we're going to redefine that ageing process because that's really important to uncover the keys for longevity and anti-aging that we can put in place to make this the best this this can be, as simply as we possibly can, if that makes sense. Okay. And the mind over matter method, yeah, getting control of, of this beastie up here. That, it, that All of this stuff then will influence your physical and mental well-being. So here's the thing that we do. As I said in the beginning, we run through life doing all of these, doing just life. You get up and you do the same thing every day, expecting that different result. But what we need to start to do, so when you feel anxiety, when you feel that anxiety starting in your gut, or wherever you feel it in your heart, in your head, it's generally in the body though, yeah. When you feel that, that's your body saying to you, there's, there's a little bit of a problem can you sit and think about it for a second? But we don't. We just power on through. Get in and out of the car, do all your bits and pieces. How often we sit and acknowledge why? Why am I getting this feeling right now? Some, some of you may experience this where you, um, where you, you're just sitting there and you're relaxed and all of a sudden your heart starts to pump in your chest for no reason if you relax that's your autonomic nervous system saying to you something's not quite right and we need to sit and we need to think about something and acknowledge what's going on in your mind so when we acknowledge things we can then do something about it you acknowledge how you feel then what you do is you breathe in what you want and then as you take that exhale out, you exhale what you don't want. But you've got to line that with your truth, guys. Are you being truthful to you? Are you being truthful to you on what you are, what you're actually feeling? That's really what I wanted to come across today. Um, 
we will be going through all the training and strategies to change all of this stuff over time. Like I said, it's a new group. First couple of videos, I want to just get you a, give you a feel of what we're going to be doing. Uh, next week, I will be bringing you something with a little bit more substance and letting you know some of those things that we can do to um, really improve our lives. We were not meant for long-term stress. Our bodies were not made for it. They just weren't. And it, that's what breaks us down. That's what gives us disease. And if we can control that, then we can control pretty much everything within our body, within reason, of course. So, ladies, you have an absolutely sensational Monday. Try and start to think and catch yourself. Catch yourself. How do I, th what am I thinking? Why am I thinking that? And how do I feel? And start to acknowledge yourself. You have a wonderful Monday. I'm going to head off and start to get ready for my, for my day and go and get people moving. Remember, move your body. Breathe. Breathe and move your body. And align your thoughts to the truth. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Much love. See you later.